Hello, today I'm excited to begin a series on set theory. What is set? Set is simply the collection of distinct objects. Distinct objects simply means objects that are not the same or objects without repetition or duplication. For example, if we have one, two, three, and one, two, two, three. In the first case, these are distinct objects because there is no repetition of number or duplication. In the second case, the number two is repeated or duplicated. But in the context of set, these two, this and this are the same. In the context of set, one, two, three, and one, two, two, three are the same. As I said earlier on, I said set is simply the collection of distinct objects. Now, these objects that are collected together, they are called element. In set, these objects collected are called element or they are called member. Now, set can be represented or denoted with a capital letter, let's say A, and a coily bracket. We use a capital letter to denote set and a coily bracket. For example, we may be asked to write a set of even number less than 10. Let's use A to represent the set equal to our curly bracket. The even number less than 10 are 2, 4, 6, and 8. We close it with a curly bracket. 2, 4, 6, and 8 are called elements. These are the elements of the set. And each of these elements are separated with a comma. We use comma to separate each of the element. Also, we need to note that elements are represented with small letter. For example, if we want to write a set of vowels, let's say A will be equal to our curly bracket is small letter A, E, I, O, U, small, small letter. In representing sets, we use small letter to represent the element. For more updates on sets, please kindly subscribe, like, and share. See you in the next video. Thank you.